Hey guys, it's John from Hatch Duo. You know it goes without saying that we are living in what feels like the next renaissance with AI. New AI tools are dropping faster than even I can keep up with. There's always something new to try, so in this video we wanted to experiment with a few new AI tools for us to see how you can integrate them into your own workflows. And just a reminder, this is less about the design and more about workflow. So let's dive right into it. The tools we'll be covering today are Flux AI, ChatGPT, and Kling AI. First up, Flux AI. It's an AI suite with multiple tools, but the one we're interested in is the context image generator. Now, there are hundreds of AI image generators out there, but what makes Flux AI's context stand out is right in the name, context. Most generators struggle with understanding the relationship between words and a prompt, but context aims to keep your ideas coherent and accurate. That ability to get context could be a game changer when you're trying to generate visuals that actually match your vision. Next, of course, is ChatGPT. It's the bread and butter of AI tools, the one that probably needs no introduction. Not too long ago, it got an update that allows it to generate images directly, so we'll be testing that feature in this video as well. And finally, Kling AI. This is an AI-powered video generator, and that's exciting because it opens up the possibility of bringing your designs to life in motion. Imagine showing clients not just static images, but videos that make concepts feel real and tangible. We've already started to do this here at Hatch. For the purposes of this video, we'll be creating an AR scuba mask or snorkeling mask. I was on vacation not too long ago and we went snorkeling. I've been snorkeling before, but this one, for whatever reason, there were a ton of fish and it was one of the greatest experience I've ever had underwater. But one nitpicky thing I did think about was that I couldn't recall which fish was what while underwater with all of them swimming around. So I thought it might be a fun little project to create an AR scuba mask using AI. One more important thing to note is that the design of the AR scuba mask itself is not what is important for this video, but the workflow experimentation itself. So essentially, this is just a quick little experimentation, seeing how we can get from point A to point B versus the actual polished ergonomic work that would normally go into building something like this. So before we jump into the fun stuff, I'm going to just generate a few images using Midjourney to use as our base reference images. And from these, I think uh, I found one that I want, so I'm going to take this. With that being said, we'll be starting off by using Flux AI's Context Image Generator. Let's first insert our image, and then we'll prompt it with something along the lines of Scuba Mask, AR, HUD Display, Multiple Quarter Views. Now it'll take us a few tries adjusting the prompt to get somewhere we'd like. Afterwards, we're left with all of these variations. And that's the name of the game with AI. You can't just rely on the very first output a tool gives you. You have to keep refining or curating it to where you are satisfied with the result. And you have to know where you want to go. Speaking of refining, we're going to refine our images even further by adding another reference image. We'll just quickly search up Tropical Reef Snorkeling in Google Images, grab this, and then paste it into here. We'll also tweak the prompt a bit so we can get a perspective from the inside of the mask. Hit generate. Okay, so it didn't actually give us what we were looking for. I wanted the interior of the mask, but it continued giving me the front instead. I think this is happening because we have this first reference image over here, and that's influencing the outputs. So let's add to it. I'm going to go over to Google Images real quick and grab a picture of the interior side of a scuba mask. And I'll add it to our reference images. Now that we have these, I want to see how it'll look on a person. So I'll prompt it over here. A woman scuba diving with this AR scuba mask in an ocean environment with manta rays. Add shot, reef in the background. We'll go ahead and generate this. Do note that this is not the best most detailed prompt, but again, just doing this for quick speed to get to you guys to the point of experimenting and seeing how this workflow works. Okay, so it generated a woman scuba diving with the mask. The mask looks a little big and it's not manta rays, it's sharks swimming around her. Hmm, a little morbid, but nonetheless, we can maybe just use this as a baseline. Now that we have these groups of images, we're going to bring them into ChatGPT and refine them even further. I like using ChatGPT because it's almost like my assistant intern with, you know, art direction power. And I like just talking to it to kind of communicate what I need. From what I've noticed, ChatGPT gives us a lot more communication control over what we want. So I'll open up ChatGPT and the first thing I'll do is prompt it with, 
I have a design of an AR scuba mask. I will give you rough images of context so you understand the design, but I need you to refine and design it so it looks sleek and modern and has well-branded CMF. I want multiple views of just the product and then one of in-use context environment for ad shots. You can prompt it however you feel is the most effective for you. For me, I like to give an initial prompt first, just so ChatGPT is prepared and knows what I want it to do. All right, now I'm going to add in our three images and say, I want this to be in neon, yellow, aqua, and black colors. And CMF wise, I'll let ChatGPT choose. Hey, all right, uh, not too bad. Um, creating a grid though, which is kind of weird, but uh, in terms of the mask design, not bad. Now that we have this, the final step is to have it actually come alive and be animated. It's always cool to create stills and, you know, all throughout my design career, when we present concepts, generally speaking, because I'm not an animator, we generally, you know, the most part we can, we can do in terms of animation is do like some quick turntable um, animations and stuff like that. Now with, you know, animation AI, you can really put your designs into an environmental context quickly and get something that's uh, compelling to propose the concept. So let's try that. So we're going to bring our image into Kling AI. A cool thing here is that Kling AI can actually generate the prompt for you. So we'll go ahead and try that. For the most part, the prompt looks good, but I'm just going to make some tweaks to it. Instead of the camera saying stationary, I'm going to say at the end, we get a full first person point of view of the augmented reality display looking out at the fish and ocean life. Then we'll hit generate. Okay, so it actually used the four quadrants of the image within the actual animation itself, which is not at all what I want. And admittedly, this is, you know, only one of the first few times I've been experimenting with, you know, context and cling. And so, yeah, I, I forgot to take out the quadrant. So again, really important on the inputs to control what your intent is. Otherwise, if you just throw things in there messily with, with no guidance, you know, AI is just going to do whatever it wants. So to fix that, I'm going to go back into ChatGPT and ask it to give me the image of just the woman wearing the scuba mask itself. Now I'll go back into Kling AI and replace the image. I'll also tweak the prompt a little bit, then hit generate. And here it gave us several variations, but I think I like this one the most. They're not bad, um, but yeah, for this exercise, let's choose this one. So as you can see, this was just a quick little video showcasing some experimentation in AI workflows. Now, a lot of this is very similar to what you could do with say, Mid Journey and Runway. And you know, Runway is another AI video generation tool. So, you know, and then now, you know, as we speak, Mid Journey also now has its own animation feature as well. So, you know, it is not to say that one is necessarily better than the other. I really encourage all of you to experiment and see what works best for you. Um, this is just a little preview of like what we've been working on here at Hatch is just experimenting to see what works best for us and within what context. What I do really like about context is that it does seem to understand visually and text wise like what the contextual environment is. And so, for instance, you can maintain and keep a similar persona. Um, all throughout the images you create consistently. So that's pretty cool. But yeah, like I think the benefits of AI video generation combined with these um, 2D AI generative tools is a really powerful workflow, especially if you're not just an industrial designer, but any kind of designer to convey your concepts in a compelling way quickly. Again, it's not completely accurate. It's not necessarily completely polished, but again, these are methods that which you can do at the early rough iteration ideation stage to allow you to, you know, have those conversations and, you know, forecast what this could be and then make decisions accordingly as you go through with designing the refinement of the product. So if you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe for more AI and design content. Also, leave a comment down below with your thoughts, what you would have changed differently, maybe what other tools you'd like to see to be explored, or maybe, you know, what you like or didn't like about the scuba mask. We'd love to hear from you. Anyways, I'll be catching you guys in the next video. And as always, let's hatch awesome.